Right. Well, first things, I want to grab anything that's not nailed down. Uh, some bit cartridges, that ambidextrin, dervish mist, whatever that is, some pet pills. I guess I'll grab the stun baton. It couldn't hurt to have a non-lethal weapon if that's what that is. Doesn't say. One-handed melee. Alright. I have it now. Uh, I will... No, I'll grab the pistol, but I'll break it down for parts. Like that. Um, mostly just because I don't want to go over my weapon cache. And I don't think... Parts don't weigh anything, right? That's how that works. Mag pick, weapon parts have no weight. Yeah, so breaking stuff down for parts is a good way to empty uh, for carrying capacity. Some Oli Oli Toxifree. Uh, and I'll grab the experimental anthracillin. Retrieved. I can hear a sprat somewhere. Um, let's have a look at that. This could be useful to someone, so I've got to bring that back to either Abernathy or to Blaine. And I don't know... I don't know if I've made up my mind about that yet. Yeah, Esther. Suggested you should give the medicine to her instead of Abernathy. I don't know where I'm going to go with that. Bypass shunt, I want that. And a mag pick. Some ammunition. No. That's... That was barred. It is now open. That is a perfectly normal sprat. I don't want to anger. Did I loot around here? Probably. There's another one in here. Another room here. Armor parts, good. That necklace I can sell. Another mag pick I definitely want. So we're getting more for the time being. I, I can probably start picking some of the odd lock. Oh, hello. That all of them? There's two in here. Everyone's doing alright. I'm okay, I'll regenerate health in a bit. You can keep the suit. Actually, no, I'll take the suit. I gotta remember to do this. Break that down. Because I'm wearing that at the moment. And I, I, I need something slightly better. I don't want to go down... Like, I like the look of this a lot better than uh, this one. But uh, this one gives me significantly higher armor, so... Let's break one of them down. Take the ammunition. Take those weapon parts. And I'm going to do some tinkering and some modding. Take that Adreno and the bit cartridge. Alright, there is an upstairs. Excuse me. Excuse me. Nicopad. Empty bin. I really don't want to get dropped by someone that I didn't know was there. That is the way out. There's another Adreno in here I nearly missed. Bread noodles. Uh, there is a staircase. I'm sure of it. Hold on. Let me see if I can find it. Where are you? There, it's in here, isn't it? Because there's an upstairs here. I shot the people who were up there, but there may be some stragglers. They're not very attentive, are they? I killed, like... There's been a lot of gunshots in a fairly small enclosed environment, and they haven't really, uh... Yeah, we're both dead. First, yeah, well, that was... That's a bit late. Once again, break that one. Yeah, break it down. I don't... Pick up mechanicals? Uh, guide to mechanical engineering. What is that? No, what is it? Inspect. Young Spacer's Guide to Mechanical Engineering, Volume 1. A dense technical primer on mechanical engineering published by Spacer's Choice. This volume describes the process of building a computing machine using electrodes and spectrum potatoes. Okay. And I've got the first aid room key, but, you know, I've got that several times over now, and I think uh, we're not going to need that in the future. Keeping an eye on my carrying capacity. Alright, we're back here. Ch -ch 
to check. There's not much around here, and I think I've been everywhere now. Right. Now, I know the way we came in. You're all dead. So, that would be the rear exit. Everyone dead in here? Hold on, this bit doesn't look familiar. No, it's just the way around. Okay. Just a different angle on a place I've already been before. Yeah, I'm gonna go out here. I think this place has been cleared out. Back to Emerald Vale. I should be near Doc Maybell, was it? They'll be not far from me, I think. Oh, it's night time. Uh, right? Oh, it's a bit over there. What's the nearest? That's a bit north of me. That's quite nearby. Yeah, there's a cave. Should I go do that now? I mean, yes, I should go do that now. Let's head, just cut across. Just cut straight across. Actually, these buildings. Evicted, don't, these don't look enterable. You can see if buildings are entered. I think I've been through there. All right, I'm just going to head straight to this cave entrance. I think this will be a transition. Point. Going straight over this. More marauders. Uh, I see one. I see two. Just a goon. All right. Oh, there's a few. Thank you. God, this shotgun is close to useless. Uh, canid meat. Take the mining gear. Is that everyone? Is there anyone else around here? Don't see, and I've got to check my character. There we are. Okay, skills. I've got another 10 points available. I should put 10 into ranged, right? I've got to use TTD occasionally, don't I? That's Q. I should think about that. I don't know how much... Where I should be putting uh, points into at this early stage. So I guess I'll bump up combat. Let's put 10 into combat. Why not? Uh, probably a very good reason why I should be putting it somewhere else, but that's what I'm doing now. Uh, what's another skill I need? Increasing sprint speed. Uh, increasing walk speed. Damage when alone in party. Don't want that. I want to have companions with me as much as possible. Increase tactical time dilation meter. That sounds useful. And increased base health is probably a good starting point, let's be honest. Okay. Let's just let's just do the basic one of just increasing base health. Let's not try to be clever. Because I'm not clever. Alright, this cave entrance is there's gonna be there's gonna be enemies and bad guys and danger. Mm -hmm inside this cave, isn't there? This looks like it was bored out. It doesn't look natural. What is that? Is that a mine? River hideout discovered. These might be mines. Okay. If I shoot them... God, this other... It goes right the way through. It cuts all the way through uh, this hillside. Okay. That's fine. Let's, keeping our distance, try detonating one of these from a distance. And let's use something that isn't, like, ammo I'm actually having difficulty getting. Okay, those are probably mines. Best to clear them 
before I end up walking around them, Mia Pavadi ends up getting our legs blown off. I think that's that's it. Checking. I don't see anyone. Some bit cartridges, a nice lovely Adreno. I can pick that. I'll take those anyway. Tarmac and cheese. Lovely. You're fast. I am. Ooh, a bunch of mods. Mr. Ouch, power attack damage. Uh, another quiet muzzler. A bit cartridge, and I will take this journal, which I can bring back to the vicar. And 2,400 XP. Alright, that was fairly, fairly painless. Okay. Right, let's head up to Doc Maybell. I think that's next on my agenda, and then I'll go across to deal with um, uh, Adelaide and her rebellion. Uh, but I get the geothermal power plant. That looks like it, this is what that's supposed to be. Mechanical sentry. Uh, are you friendly? Oh, you're a bot. You're a robot. Well, we might wait a bit. That's a mechanical guardian mark one. Sort of a, it's a. I'm not sure what how to describe that. We've got a combat drone. This looks like um something that I'm gonna have to deal with uh, at a later point. But that's the geothermal power plant. That's where we're getting our regulator, right? So that's coming sooner rather than later. But for the time being, we can focus on hunting human beings for sport. Well, marauders, they, they, they're they definitely people, aren't they? They do talk. They don't just make animalistic growls. They, they very much like the look of my guts when I die, so... Uh, they have feelings. Interesting feelings. Strange feelings that I don't approve of. But ultimately, feelings and opinions... Oh, hello. No. What do we got? Terror Ray. I'll take all your wings and the beak. Another beak. Three beaks. Lovely. Maybe I should have used something a little less overpowered on them. I like this rifle. I... Alright, here we go. Doc Maybell. Let's see if we can get a line on you. You know what I want to try? Where's that hunting rifle? Let's try this again, but this time without sucking and dying. Because this is the only one I've got with a scope so far. I'm sure I can get one. Nope. Marauder Lookout. I don't know how... You're inside that cave, aren't you? Okay. You're not a very good lookout, buddy. We're right here. Let's try it. Bonk. Okay, two shots to bring down. Ah, oh, here they come. Watch out for the... Come on. Okay, you need to start focusing on elements that are coming closer rather than, you know, you're getting tunnel vision, I think. Letting that canid come right up to you and nibble on you. Uh, Doc Maybell, easy. Another Adreno. A blad on a stick. Okay. Tamed Canid. Ah, alright. Well, sorry about your dogs. Let's go in here and have a poke around. Marauder Vandal. Light ammo. Mining helmet. And reboot mining gear. I've got to look through that. What am I up to? 54. I've got to start breaking stuff down. This looks, um... Is this unique? What does it look like? If I wield it. I'm not really going to be good with this. And that's nearly broken. So let's... Uh, let's replace this with a machine gun. You know what? I want shotgun in two. Because I naturally my finger naturally goes to three. To choose my primary weapon. And I want my rifle to be the primary weapon. And then I can bring up the machine gun if I need it. So I probably want that on hand. Okay. 
Just gotta start working on my loadout. So whatever my primary weapon, I'll probably put it into slot 3. Right. You're dead. Marauder thug. You were already dead. Fun times barrel. That's a new mod. Uh, yes. Sorry, I forgot. Armor. I've got a lot of that on me. Um, break that down. Break that down. Break that down. Eh, I'll keep that. Store it somewhere, I think. I can sell it. I don't know. I'm not going to be using this. It's a two-handed weapon. That's about my least uh, useful uh, style of weapon. Alright, let's break this one down. Alright, another Adreno. Uh, I'm glad I'm getting a lot of these, because I'm going to be needing them. That's, i got to remember how to use them, when to use them, and eventually I'll learn the best uh, time to heal up rather than just before I'm dead, because it... Like, it, uh, I know it's obvious, it seems like it should be obvious, but um, keeping an eye on my health, so, you know, not my greatest strength. Alright, let's have a look at this one. That's an energy weapon, right? Charge. What is that doing? It's using something. It's definitely using stuff, but it doesn't seem to be actually doing anything. I'm going to try that on the next Marauder I see, I think. I'm going to give that one a go. Alright. That was easy. Now. Let's go to the Botanical Lab. And then, where is the... Sorry. Map. It's further on, so I just need to head down the road a bit. E shouldn't be a problem. Okay. Um. What's the best way forward? Because <laughs> that looks like a hill in my way. See if I... Okay, if I head down the road a bit and then take a left on the... No, that's the river. Head down the river and find a track that comes off it. That will be fine. We're just going to climb over this waterfall. Are you going to find a way around? You'll probably find a way around. Ouch. I just snapped my knees. It's completely fine. Uh, I want to probably keep an eye on that... Uh... There you are. Uh, I want to probably keep an eye out for those... Those behemoth things. What were they? Those... What the hell were they called? Primates? Primals? Something like that. Okay, we got another settlement. Or abandoned little uh, cottage. Town. With a locked door. Which I need more skill to open up. Patch low pressure helmet. That's a new type of helmet and a better one. It's kind of a cool looking helmet, I'll be honest there. Let's put that on. I would like a better outfit. There we go. Here's an open door. Uh, really hope there's not a family in here that I'm just going to open up on one of these days. Bypass shunt. Light ammo. Good. Heavy ammo. Even better. Take that. That looks like soap. Okay. Yep. That guy's house has been looted. We are the good guys. The heroes of this story. I don't think anyone's living around here anymore. I don't know why. It's It seems... Fine. I mean, apart from the fact that there are marauders everywhere, but... I mean, surely marauders aren't good for business, and you'd think Spacer's Choice would probably want to uh, deal with that. Standard troop helmet. I can put that on Pavati. And another dervish mist. Uh, here. Gotta pop that on you. It's a good thing I can't see it. You're wearing a level 7 armor. That's good. Can I... Upgrade you? No. Alright, I think I might stick you on defensive. Let's try that. I don't know what it does, but I want to put you on defensive just so you don't go 
get yourself killed. Oh, if they do go down in combat, they just pop back up when combat is over, which is nice to know. They can't die permanent. Along, stranger. We don't want any trouble. I'm just uh, pulling the fur, uh, the fins out of this canid, and I would like to talk with your boss, if that's all the same to you. Hello, Grace Romero. Hi. I don't know you. You Whatever are a... you're looking for, it ain't here. Move along. Um, I'm looking for Adelaide. I need ans I need some answers. Answers, huh? You must be one of those philosophicals. Already got ourselves one of those. Uh, Reed said about something about former workers living in the wilderness. Uh, I'm looking for the geothermal plant. I don't think she'll respond well to the name Reed. So let's say we're looking for the geothermal plant. Do you know anything about it? Let's try a little bit of tact with this one. A geo what? Look, plants ain't my purview. You're better off asking after Adelaide. I would love to talk to Adelaide. You're gonna start wandering around my camp. Know that I got Your my camp. sights on you. Uh, where can I find her? Over in the hothouse, tending crop. Enough with the questions. No offense, but I've got a lot on my mind. Okay, you've had enough with the questions. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out how I'm going to repair my ship. Well, look at you. Buzzing around the aether with your very own ship. Rest of us gotta make do with the ground at our feet. Oh, well, I'm no, sorry for I'm a sorry. For... That was unworthy of me. Yeah. Lady named Zoe went missing some nights ago. Just up and vanished without a trace. Now I'm pacing around wondering if marauders got to her. That was a remarkable non sequitur. Very well. Um, you could always go out looking for her. I go looking for Zoe. I leave the camp undefended. You're the only she defender? I'm the only one of us who knows her way around the gun. Hence my dilemma. Uh, any idea where she might be hiding? Vex me. If she told anybody, they ain't telling me. I check a room, but I got yelled at for snooping once already. Well, I'm okay with snooping. I might do that. Uh, yeah, of course. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Maybe the Marauders did take her. Could be. Dangers are plenty out there. No telling why Marauders would steal somebody like Zoe. Got no useful skills, far as I could tell. I don't think it's going to go quite that dark. This game is a little lighthearted, but let's say I'll keep an eye out. Not like Zoe to go wandering. Figured she might be out scavenging, but that ain't exactly her talent. Can't imagine where she's gone. Vale's a wide place. She could be anywhere. Uh, <laughs> I'll find her. Appreciate it. Honest. Okay. Uh, hang on. I'll tell you what I can. Let's just see what else there is to say. Uh, how well do you know her? Well, enough to know we never got on. Zoe and Stefan were close. If anybody Stefan. knows the workings of her mind, he does. Okay. You seem so personable. How can I... Let's not be cynical. Okay, change the subject. What is it? Uh, I'll leave you to it. Alright. Do I go get Zoe now, or do I talk to Adelaide McDevitt? Where is that? Side quest. A few kindred spirits. Okay, search her home for clues. I'm going to talk to Adelaide first. That's what I'm here for. And they, they're now allowing me in. No questions asked now. Armed. Let's actually put that away. Alright. You got a little commune going here. That's, uh, very pleasant of you. Wow. That's actually, that looks awesome. That's not steel. It's so pretty. Yeah. That looks great. Ms. McDevitt. If you're hungry, there's meat turning on the spit outside. If you're bearing illness, find a place to lay your head down and I'll fetch you a poultice. Whatever your troubles with Edgewater, leave them at the gates and be welcomed here. Okay. Any questions, dear? All right, so it's one of you. Uh, oh, very selfless and everything else. You know, I just got done with one of you people. Didn't go well. Uh, you must be Adelaide. I have been called that, among other things. Green Thumb, Grandmother, the strange old lady who keeps flowers. But yes, Adelaide will do just fine. Excuse me, Miss McDevitt? Sorry, it's just... 
You got such pretty trees in here. Why, thank you. You're Robert's girl, aren't you? I remember when you were but a sprout. Thomas speaks of you often. Are you staying long? You should try some of my tobaccorn tea. I brew it in an old spittoon, but it's been cleaned. <laughs> Thanks, I'll pass. Um, uh, this your greenhouse? I mean, yeah, seems like it. No, oh dear. The garden belongs to us Sorry. all. Sorry. My apologies. Life is the gift of the universe, and the universe yields its bounty equally, absent of prejudice. I'm surprised you managed to grow anything out here. This place is fairly lush. I <laughs> never knew you could go tripe in a garden. No. Uh, yeah, this place is fairly... It shouldn't be that difficult to grow plants in this planet. It seems fairly um abundant. The soil around the Vale went sour years ago. If you but say I found so. a way to sweeten it back up. The secret recipe is a little bit of elbow grease, a dash of love, and a heaping pile of special fertilizer. Methinks these people aren't going to be uh, massive about the prospect of returning to um, returning to Edgewater. You've made a home for yourself out here. A home for anyone who's ever turned their backs on Edgewater. A home for those of us with nowhere left to go. And nothing to lose. So like the spores of the puffball, cast on the wind and alighting on fresh soil, we put down new roots. Why did you leave your old home? It is an unpleasant story, dear. But the short of it is that sometimes one wakes up and realizes the place that was once her home for much of her life has changed. The home in which we spent our lives has left us behind, and so... We must move on, and that is as much as I will say on the subject. Reed sent me to make peace with you, and I would like to do this peaceably as possible. Reed Thompson, you here on behalf of that cold-eyed reptile? I am. Let's hear it. What's Reed's idea of peace, then? You're living off power that belongs to the town. Come back to the cannery, that's about it. Reed asks you to consider coming back to the town. He's willing to make amends. Or something about coming back to town and <laughs> losing power. I wasn't really listening. Um, this is the most correct depiction of his answer. Come back to the cannery. He didn't seem like he was willing to make amends. But maybe I need to broker a piece between the pair of them to try and find common ground. Though I don't know how much there is. I'm mostly interested, I'm primarily interested in the, um, the power regulator. So I'm gonna need that regardless. So let's make amends, let's try to find the, let's try to find a common ground path. Make amends? Spare me. Only thing Reed knows how to make is a mess. Like everything else that comes out of Edgewater, that peace offering is chaos. I and my own are living just fine out here by ourselves. Reed asked me to divert your power over to him. He mentioned a geothermal plant. He would do such a thing. The question is, why would you agree to his plans? Your camp has a power regulator. I need it to repair my ship. Cannery's got a regulator. You want ship parts, you ought to rip them out of the cannery's guts and leave us be. If you're going down to the plant, you should divert power away from Edgewater and toward our end of the grid. Think about it. You'd be liberating an entire town from a lifetime of service to that odious cannery. Seems the sort of thing a hero would do. Yeah, it seems the sort of thing that could backfire. I know what you've got against the town. I'm not looking to get uh, mixed up in your problems. I just want to fix my ship. Well, if it's all the same to you, then you ought to divert power over to us, shut down Reed's cannery, and scrap it for parts. What have you got against the town? You've seen that miserable yes. excuse for a town with your own lamps. Hollowed out workers laboring their lives away at the cannery, living off whatever scrap spacer's choice throws them. You know that's true, don't you, Ms. Holcomb? Your father died of overwork. His heart gave out. He, he was tired all the time, sure, but 
he was old, ma'am, and he raised me all by his lonesome. Look what they did to this child. Lost her family to the company, and still she defends them. I don't like that you're throwing that in her face to get me on your side. Not a fan of that. Trying to make a living. I mean, yeah, that's the kind of the thing is like... Here's the problem with this notion is that clearly they're doing just, just dandy out here. So one wonders what the hell Ed, uh, Space's Choice is providing. You, you can't actually feed a significant community off of like four trees and a couple of buildings. You, you, you're you not going to create a sustainable agricultural system under that. Uh, so I don't really know how this is working. But... I don't much like you throwing that in her face to get me on your side. I want to take- I want to kind of get her- you should get off Bavadi's back. Um, alright. I ain't so fragile. It's not fragility, it was just that rude. That was unkind of me. I'm sorry, dear. Let's say I help you. What happens to Edgewater? Life in Edgewater grinds to a halt. The cannery shuts down, workers desert in droves, and our own little camp grows and thrives. You think Reed's just trying to spite you. You bring power to Reed's town and you'll be killing us. Reed knows it. He's counting on it. Alright, I guess I'll consider it. I trust you will listen to your conscience. You can't feed a significant population off of this. You just can't. That's the simple truth of it. Well, let's have a look. I don't think they're going to be... ...prepared to move of their own accord, are they? Prior to me... Because what I kind of hoped to do... ...was to get them all to move out... ...and head off back to the cannery without having to cause a fuss. Here's the problem with all this. It's like, it's all very well, but like, there's only one option, isn't there? I send the power here, obviously, and shut down the cannery. Why would I... I'd have got no allegiance to either one, and this looks like the more prosperous part. I mean, how can Edgewater really expect to compete with this? Well, they can't. That's why Space's Choice doesn't allow you to quit. It's just... It's so hyper, it's corporate hyper-interventionism. He used to follow me around before he left the cannery. Who? That's him. That? What? Thomas Kemp. Okay, sorry. You interrupted me. Um, I mean, I don't see any reason to support the cannery over this place. I don't see why I should divert power to Edgewater because this place seems stable and you could live here. You, I feel like you could do a fair bit of production here. Get some export going, compete with Space's Choice directly, unless they come down here and uh, intervene directly. So, by that rights, I mean, there's, there doesn't seem to be any real reason to divert, unless I just wanted to spite these people. But they're obviously successful here. Now, in reality, tends to be the other way around. Uh, it tends to be these kinds of communes produce very little and have very, um, little actual livable value, but the people inside them are free from tyranny, whereas, uh, the corporate job keeps you fed and warm, but is, uh, your lives are controlled by the corporation. But there's no downside to this commune, as it's depicted in this game. Whereas in reality, these places tend to be sort of um, resource drains, and they're usually only stable because of the total homogeneity of their inhabitants. Um, have I got any reason? What do you think? Yeah, huh? Do you think anything? No, you don't. Okay, you're... Should we talk to Thomas Kemp? I guess he's named. Let's have let's say hi. Maybe he's got a mission for us. A workbench. Good. I will need that. Hello, Thomas. Oh, ah, uh, didn't see you there. I was uh 
Well, I was just occupying myself with a little engineering. Whoa, Miss Parvati. Hey, you're, uh, what, um, how, how are you? Hi, hi. Smooth, buddy. Oh. Very smooth. Are you, uh, uh, are things safe out here? How are you keeping? Great, just great. I've been trying to keep stuff running, just like you. Only I'm not so... Wait, they didn't kick you out, did they? Oh, gosh, no. I I'm just along with this fella here. Are you from town? Uh, I mean, you don't exactly look like you're from town. Uh, I'm just... Well, I'll take that as a compliment. Um, uh, I'll take that as a compliment. Well, what I meant was you're reasonably well-armed and don't look stricken with plague. Sorry, I My just wasn't very sure gray. if you were That's from just town natural. or if you were one of us. Something's been chewing at me, you see. Fact is, I've been, well, lying to everybody here. Camp thinks I'm a mechanical genius, but I couldn't fix a busted chair. What have you been doing uh, to make them think that you're a mechanical genius if you can't fix a chair? Uh... I could give you a couple of pointers. I'll take all the help I can get. I set my mind to learning the craft of the engineer, you see. I want to make something of myself. You ever heard of the Young Spacer's Guide to Mechanical Engineering? I've got one volume. It comes in a set of three. If I had my hands on one of those data pads, I could teach myself the ins and outs. Those are good. My dad kept a copy with him when he was working in the cannery. I know the old community center kept Which I've already copy. got. Should find another one back in town. If you could find me even one of those pads, I'd be greatly obliged. Um... I've got one of those data pads you wanted. No kidding! Really? Well, which one? Uh, part one. Community center. Look at that! Building a computing machine out of Spectrum Potatoes, a primer. I'm just glad it survived all these years. I appreciate you going through all that trouble. Deserter's reputation In fact, increased. I put aside something special. On the off chance that somebody'd search out those data pads for me. Uh I'll let you know if I find any others. Sure. I'd be glad to take them off your hands. Uh I wanna ask you something. What's on your mind? How long have you lived here? A couple months. This camp's my home. It's not a camp, you know it's a town. To about? They're my family. At least I think of them that way. I owe them my life. Would have died in the wilderness if they hadn't chanced upon me, starving and delirious. What were you doing in the wilderness? We all left the cannery for one reason or another. Me? I was let go. Mostly on account of my incompetence. I mean, I was incompetent. I couldn't even survive on my own. Grace found me, Adelaide took me in, I've been on my feet ever since. You weren't incompetent. You just didn't fit the cannery. Not like here. This place had a U-shaped hole, and now it doesn't. You could stay, you know. Here. I'd be happy to... I mean, uh, we could really use... Uh, this isn't coming out right. Uh, if you want, Adelaide would make a place for you. Okay. He's a little, uh... little smitten, I think. Um... I should go, I guess. I don't seem to have anything else to say to you. Okay. Reputation with a faction has changed. How do I find out what... Hold on. What did it say? Ah, I've missed that. How do I find out what my reputation... Where the factions are? Oh, well. I'll probably have to read some of this. Um, genuinely, how do I learn that? Is it in character? Reputation. There we are. Uh, primary Groundbreaker, Iconoclast, Monarch Stellar Industries, Sublight Salvage and Shipping, and The Board. Secondary, Spacer's Choice and The Deserters. Now, Spacer's Choice doesn't have any opinion on me. Current status, Neutral. It's too early to tell whether this employee is competent or not. Uh, neutral. But I'm still neutral to these guys. 12% though. Disillusioned workers who left the town of Edgewater. They live together in a makeshift camp. Makeshift? What about this is makeshift? This, that, that's, those are houses. That is a significant, like, uh, greenhouse. These are full-fledged trees. 
mock apple trees. None of this is makeshift. This is a village. I guess I'm siding with the deserters. I mean, the other option just seems evil. Sending these guys back to uh, suffer under Reed's regime. But, like... I guess I was hoping for a bit of nuance. Maybe I shouldn't have been, but... I don't feel like I've got a, really an option. Stefan Garcia. A chicken. Let's talk to the chicken. Hello, chicken. 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 Buck, buck, buck. Indeed. Uh... Hello, Stefan. You hungry? We got canid ribs. I know canid your flank. name canid has been snout. spoken. I don't forgot what it was about. Something I can help you with? Uh... What are you... Hold on, I should probably go back to the, um, workbench, by the way. Uh, I'm told one of your numbers gone missing. You mean Zoe? Oh, yep, yeah, now I, I remember. Close. Not like her to go loping off. What happened on the day Zoe disappeared? Zoe and I were going to watch the serials, as is our custom. As she is never our custom. Up. I looked around, but she was nowhere to be found. You sound like some type of corporate fixer asking all these questions. Uh, okay. Well, I'm asking the questions because she disappeared, and I'm ask, and I want to know. Don't be a dick, bro. Zoe was always obsessed with this serial, masked marketeer, a scion of Byzantium turns to banditry and teaches his marauder companions the wisdom of free market economics. Shame she up and vanished when she did. I had a surprise lined up for her. Uh, why was that surprising? The other day, I got my hands on a genuine copy of the latest masked marketeer. I was going to surprise Zoe with it, but she was gone the next day. Was she acting strange? Can't say I recall Zoe ever acting strange. Well, except for her habit of writing things down on scraps of paper. How weird of her. She called it journaling, but I think it's just plain odd. Uh, was there something hey, else? I got time. Uh, what are you selling? Fresh off the limb, and that includes canid meat. I've got some stuff to sell if you don't mind. Uh... 6% discount. I don't need meat. Why would I... Why would I need to... Uh, let's sell junk. Let's start by selling... I'm sure I can sell you my canid meat. Uh, Alright, sell that. I, I've got a bunch of, like, here, have these wings. I've got a beak here you can have. A fin. Corporation Service Award, all yours. And this necklace. I want to keep this ship just in case I can plop it down somewhere as, um, uh, as a decoration. Hmm. Here, can you repair this? How much is that going to cost? It costs 222 and for all equipped... 489 bits to repair all equipment, all, um, equipped items. Not sure if that's a good deal or not. I haven't really got any, uh, notion of value right now. These are all both basically fine. I think I can leave this until I'm certain I know I'm not wasting money on it. Right. Well, I've now spoken to Stefan. What has that done to my, uh... Mission. Grace doesn't know where Zoe might have gone. Stefan said Zoe was keeping a journal, which should be inside her quarters. Stefan revealed that uh, he was looking forward to surprising Zo uh, Zoe with an episode of her favorite capitalist serial. <laughs> if you say so. Uh, Grace uh, said that out of all the people in the camp, Stefan was the one closest to Zoe. Yeah, okay, so I've already spoken to him. Alright, while I'm in the neighborhood, before I complete this one, because that's now go to the, div go and divert the power, and I think I've got to level up a bit before I'm ready to get into the geothermal plant. And I might want to do some stuff around here, before I head into, uh, before I decide whether or not I'm going to divert power to which one, maybe I should 
cozy up to one of them. So let's activate this. So Zoe's house is just over here. Am I gonna get yelled at for snooping? Because I'm gonna just I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna do it unashamedly. <laughs> 